reference of our problem is the book from Wayne L. Winston, Operations Research Application Algorithm. The subject we choose is Waiting Time Theory, the topic Exponential Queues in Series Open Queues Networks, and the exercise is an automobile assembly. Oh, what is the problem? The last two things that are done to a car before its manufacture is complete are installing the engine and putting on the tires. An average of 54 cars per hour arrive requiring these two tasks. One worker is available to install the engine and can service an average of 60 cars per hour. After the engine is installed, the car goes to the tire station and waits for its tire to be attached. Three workers serve at the tire station. Each works on one car at a time and can put tires on a car in average of three minutes. Both inter-arrival times and service times are exponential. 1. Determine the mean queue length at each workstation. 2. Determine the total expected time that a car spends waiting for service. 3. The boxes that we are supplied by a rate of 54 cars per hour, then the, the cars are storage in a buffer and have to wait to, to the engine installed. In this next process, the engine installs in a rate of 60 cars per hour, then the car with the engine goes to the next buffer, which is where the cars wait to have tires installed. In the, in the stage 2, we have three operators, which install, uh, install the tires in the car in a rate of 20 cars per hour. And the last thing um, is to send it to the ultimate buffer where it is stored as a finished product. All the times and services provided in the case follows an exponential distribution. It is crucial to solve the model in a simulation software. The working process usually arrives at a rate of 54 units per hour, which means 66.67 seconds per unit, which is the mean time that follows the exponential distribution. The working process passes to the engine installation processes 60 units per hour. This means that it processes uh, one unit each 60 seconds, which will be the mean time for the exponential distribution for the engine. Thank you.
Three workers serve at the tire station at a rate of 3 minutes each unit, 180 seconds per unit, also to the exponential distribution for each operator from the tire in installation. Based on all these data, we construct our model. With a quick overview about the results we are going to obtain in our Flexin software, comparing the results with the original case, we have an, a percentage above 94 of accuracy of the answers. Here is the key point. To obtain this reliable data above 94% of confidence, we determined to, to use the period of time of one month replicated a hundred times. This is 572,000 seconds, which means a month with four weeks, each one uh, with five days, working eight hours by a day, uh, considering the basic labor force work schedule. Then, if we replicate this month a hundred times, we will obtain 8.33 years in our simulation to get reliable results. Running the model, we obtained the first conclusion. The engine install key length is 7.9. Therefore, we are going to compare this result with the, with the one of the original case. We can compare this data with the dispersion plot. This dispersion plot, each point represents the average key length at the end of the month, at the end of the 572 thousand seconds for the tire installation queue the average is seven cars the average length queue in each of the hundred replications About the total expected time that the auto will wait in the engine installation queue, we can observe in the dispersion plot that we have a mean of 525 seconds. Also we can see that we obtained from this dispersion plot 569 seconds of total expected time for the tire installation when the auto expects to be assembled with the tires. If we look at the chart, it's unlikely to have an average of over those values we obtained in the experiment. Just to get the final result, if we sum 525 seconds from the stage 1 in the queue of average stay time and 469 seconds in the second station of tire installation queue we obtain the final result is around point zero point two seven hours most likely as a result of the original case
Finally, these are the results that we obtained from the simulator called FlexSim as we used it compared to the original case. And we obtained that the uh, level of confidence over 94%.